today we're going to be looking at finding colour. I've been out in the landscape and I've come back to my studio with lots of ideas and one particular image that I'd like to work on. I'm finding the colour in this image and I've set myself the target of finding 24 colours. 24 gives you a good enough range to create a sense of depth and light. When I start a project, I like to grade my colour from the very lightest to the very darkest. And you'll find that that's a technique that works very well in any medium. But let's start with the very palest colours at this end. Here's the white from the sky, blue colours for the sky. Now we're going to work through the, the range of colours without paying attention to the colour itself. We're looking at the tone of the colour. And we'll arrange these gradually coming down and down. You find these bright colours are very hard to place, but let's pop it there for now. Some of these golds and greens, some more orange colours, they're all in here, but of course they're not going to be in the proportion that you're seeing them here at the moment, because these are bits of fabric. Right, now, let's keep going with this. I think that belongs up here. This may take you longer than you might think. It's not that easy grading colour. But try and look right through the colour to the tone. See, this belongs up here somewhere. This is one of the darker ones. Let's just pack them close, more closely together so that you can see how they might go. There's little pieces like this can be really useful in landscape. There we are. Now we've got a, a good range of fabric to work with. Creating a wash of colours from dark to light with the same 24 colours is another way of looking at them. Starting with a grid, 4 inches by 6, divided into those 24 inch squares. Go back to your fabrics and find each of the 24 and cut out a square inch each. Starting at the bottom right hand corner, with the very darkest, gradually build up the colours, looking through them to the tones that they represent, into the middle field, and gradually right up to the top, where you can see the white, the very lightest of them all. So you've created a wash from dark to light. Don't expect to do it in a hurry, it can take a little time. You can see that an exercise in finding colour and grading it can be really useful in landscape work. For more hints and tips, subscribe or go to my website, effiegallatly.co.uk, where you can purchase my book, Patterns in Landscape. See you soon.